and we've arrived everybody like i said a couple days ago it's gonna be a lot of mountain running on the channel in the next six weeks in preparation for the pike's peak ascent and today it's a wild horse five type of day that's right i have I think today might put me over 50 miles. So therefore the full review is coming down the pike real quick and let's get ready. All right, just gonna pack up my raid light vest and get going, come on. So in the vest, little tip of the day, I always pack the essentials first, the water, the food, the warm clothing for these mountain runs and then I pack the fun stuff, the drone, the GoPro. So just make, you just don't want to forget the essentials. Then after that, once you're all packed, you're good to go for making sure we capture some beauty up on the mountain for all of you. And just need to switch these memory cards over, put the bigger, bigger memory card in the GoPro since I'll use that a lot more than the little Mr. Spark drone. And I'm just gonna mention real quick because I get this question at least three or four times a week. Uh, my socks, these are my favorite running socks and yes, they're available down below from Amazon. Basically, uh, these are Stance, all right? Stance, S-T-A-N-C-E. Stance, Smart Wool, and Darn Tough. Those are my top three uh, running sock brands, okay? And I, I believe Darn Tough is available down below as well. I know Smart Wool and Stance are, and they have a bunch of different colors. So anyway, if you love running socks that uh, are comfortable and kind of have a little flash to them, yes, go down below. Now, they don't give them away, all right? You know, like running socks, hello. I remember 20 years ago, just running in cotton all the time in high school. We just did, they just didn't have like all these different running sock brands, but now they are available all over the place and uh, they're a little pricey, but I have found 20 to $30 running socks will last indefinitely almost, like at least five years of good solid running. At least that's been my experience once again with Stance, Smart Wool, and Darn Tough. All right, lacing up. I'm telling you, the Wild Horse 5 Upper. Oh, oh, it's like they nailed it, in my opinion. I just love the Upper on this Wild Horse 5. Jeepers, all right, we're going. Back with the goats. Hi, right, shout out to everyone on the top of Gray's Peak. Just said hello to, there's probably like 20, 30 people on top. And uh, yeah, just letting them know about the channel. Oh, it's fun to meet people on top of these mountains. All right, I didn't even stop on Gray's because, you know, actually Denver's getting hammered right now, it looks like with some uh, rain and or a thunderstorm. So I'm gonna keep moving because yes, I'm going over to Tory's next. You can see it off there in the distance, another 14er. So I'm gonna connect these two. All right, there we are. Made it to the top of Tory's. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to get from Gray's to Tories. They're pretty close, uh, but gonna do something a little different. Basically, I'm gonna spend a little time up here as long as the weather doesn't turn. And I'm gonna do some, um, some one-legged hopping, basically. So when I was injured and I had the boot on my foot um, and I didn't wanna put any pressure on my left foot, I was hopping around, like I had the scooter, I had the crutches, but I was also hopping quite a bit on my right leg. And I tell you what, everybody, the explosiveness and the strength by doing that every day for three weeks, it was, I couldn't believe how strong my right leg was when I stopped using the scooter and the, uh, and the crutches. So anyway, going up Pikes Peak for the race and any other mountain race, I really believe, I'm not saying for an ultra race, like over, over 50K, that's a little different. I'm talking like shorter, half marathon, 25K, 10 mile mountain races that are up, I think it's critical to be able to basically <laughs> kind of leap 
your way up the mountain, meaning over the rocks, um, over the, the logs, over... Um, and so anyway, that is what I'm starting practicing today is just leg strength and explosiveness at high altitudes, okay? So I know it's a little crazy, but uh, I'm excited like just to try new things in order to, to get better, to get faster. Uh, so here we go, taking this vest off. Yes. Here comes the snow. <laughs> There's a little bit of snow falling right now. Okay, my left ankle. Obviously it's gonna be weak because of the injury. I'm telling you, if we can focus on the other 50% of our leg, legs, meaning if, you're, if your right leg is stronger, just work on that uh, weak leg. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. just passed into tree line and the rain and thunder just started and where there's thunder there's lightning there's about a hundred people up on that mountain right now on grays and tories just be careful up there everyone like just don't mess with the lightning it does it does hurt what's up <laughs> you made it down fast Just in time for the lightning. I know, lightning scared me. Did you see my buddies back there? Yeah, they're back there. How far? Maybe a quarter mile. What's your name? Brian. Brian? Yeah, what do you go, man? Yeah, man. You're gonna be on YouTube. There you go, what's up? <laughs> this guy kills it. Oh, man, you're killing it. Good All right, good thing you're below tree line. Yeah, see you. With the, with the uh, lightning. Here run. As one of my uh, one of my new buddies, I met up on top of Gray's. Let the ice baths begin. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh man. And we're back in the studio. All right, like I said yesterday, remember, we're doing running shoe giveaways on this channel, meaning we're giving shoes to folks who need help buying new running shoes, okay? And three more pairs arrived today. I'm not gonna open them tonight. We'll save that for Wednesday, July 17th, 7 p.m. live here on this YouTube channel where we're gonna give away shoes. To, and we're gonna give away quite a few shoes uh, because they're starting to pile up because of your generosity. It's blowing me away. Thank you so much, okay? All right, diving into today's run. So keyword, adaptation. I'm a little surprised at how well, I adapted in just the last three days. Like it was a distinct difference compared to, gosh, Tuesday, I think it was, that I went up that, same, that very same mountain and the amount of effort that I had to put in three days ago versus today, it wasn't night and day, but it was quite a bit different, uh, quite a bit different. Topping out on the summit uh, 13 or 14 minutes faster, really not even working that much harder like i wasn't trying to go faster i was just putting putting the work in being consistent nice and steady so uh, i'm excited about that in today's run in the nike wild horse 5 was 17 miles or 27 kilometers 5,000 feet of elevation gain or 1500 meters all right so for everyone outside the u.s there you go and what are my thoughts on the nike wild horse 5 going up a 14,000 foot mountain the mountain test here's the deal great honestly 
I was not a great grip. I like the outsole pattern that, that Nike has put on the bottom of this Wild Horse 5. However, as much as I love the upper, I'm not in love with the heel counter, okay? I like a little more, I guess, a little more padding is what it is. A little more padding in the heel counter for a steep uphill ascents, and then also the angle of the heel counter. So instead, this one, this Wild Horse 5 heel counters, and that's this area right here, it's pretty straight up and down. It leans in a little bit toward your Achilles tendon. I like a little more of a lean, okay? So that's where I fall in love with these wild, these speed cross, actually, where are they? Yup, there it is, hold on. That's why I love the speed cross five because the angle, I don't know if you can see it there, but the angle of the heel counter on the speed cross five is more, is steeper. Uh, is that the right, the right phrase? Well, we'll just go with it. Steeper toward the Achilles tendon, leaning in toward the Achilles tendon. So I don't think, I wanted to just test them out for you today to see if they could potentially be a, a more aggressive mountain trail running shoe. And I think I'm, no, nah, I don't think so. You've got better options out there for you to choose from, okay? And just real quick, wrapping up here, uh, one more thought on adaptation. We adapt as human beings. Our bodies are incredible, like plyometrics, speed work, um, even strength training in the gym. And yes, even taking ice baths. Like I was in there for 30 seconds at the most. I couldn't handle it. Like my legs were aching. I, it was really, really cold, first of all. Is that snow, that water coming right out of the snow? But I know that if I go back and I ice again, my body will adapt to those freezing temperatures. And just like elevation, Elevate. This is why for Pikes Peak, like you have to get above 12,000 feet often if you want to enjoy the experience during the race day because your body adapts to the training. And the question of the day, do you, during your training, do you even think about the adaptation processes that are happening in your cardiovascular system, in your muscular system, all the different systems within our incredible bodies that, um, that, that are being put through some pretty difficult training. Like right now, it's starting to get a little more serious for me by getting above 12,000 feet often, meaning for me twice a week. So anyway, do you even think about the adaptation processes? And maybe you've never even thought about this before and that's okay too, uh, but it is happening and it's exciting that it is happening. Uh, and it happens when you're consistent, it happens pretty quickly, okay? So, all right, I think that's it for today. Again, July 17th, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Next, oh, if you could just spread the word, I mean, I need to get rid of a lot of shoes because uh, because my because because we need more space at this house. So if you could just let let everyone know, anyone who needs help getting running. And listen, there's no guarantee that everyone there's you know we, we, we're going to have probably hundreds of people watching. But if you could take a little time to spread the word, I'd appreciate it. You know you know folks out there that just could use a little help trying to win some nice running shoes. Really nice. Like I've shown you these before. So, all right, these are the Nike, oh my gosh, I'm a little tired right now. These are the Nike Zoom Fly SPs. So, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. See you tomorrow.